Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney, and in today's video, I am very excited. We are going to be um, unboxing or going through my Ulta haul. Also, I bought a few things at Walmart and Walgreens. Um, those, some of those items were already open because I did use them, um, but I did get my Ulta in the mail today, haven't opened anything inside the box, so I would just like to make a video and um, show you my haul. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, and if you're interested in seeing what I got, then keep watching. Super excited, here's my Ulta box, came in today. So, let's just dive right in, shall we? Okay, so first thing out of the Ulta box, I have, I believe it's nine, eight or nine items. Um, I could be, could be wrong. I think it's eight or nine items. So, let's see. First things first, I did purchase some lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies, and you get five sets of them, and I absolutely love these. So, I... I'm definitely excited, stocked up. I got five pairs, so yay. And I love them. I'm, they're beautiful. I'll link everything that I have in the description below. So next thing, I got the Milani Lip Scrub because I cannot stand, like I moisturize my lips. I use like Blistex moisturizer and some other moisturizers for my lips and just it just doesn't like work like I'll put on some matte lipstick or some liquid lip and, Like you'll just be able to you see all that like crusty dead skin So I heard good things about lip scrubs. I don't know about this one in particular. This is the Milani I believe this was nine nine ninety nine for this um so i'm hoping that it gets the job done and gets rid of all those crusty little crusts so i am going to open up the lip scrub and just check it out and see the consistency and all of that goodness oh wow okay so you gotta like really scoop it huh it has like a little beady it's soft and it has like little, you know, like, like exfoliate, like when you exfoliate like that, like, and it smells really good. It smells like a rose. It smells like a rose, like a fresh rose. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm so excited about this. And look at the cute little packaging. I love it. I'm in love. So you just like take it and you just massage it on your lips, like maybe like during when you're doing your rest of your makeup. Massage that on, scrub it up, and then wipe it off, and your lips should be nice and exfoliated. And ready to go. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, people. I'm so excited to get to, like, the good stuff. But I'm starting, like, you know, not the, gr from, like, least to greatest. Just got, this is another, um, I already have one, but I'm pretty much just stocking up on this. This is the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Peach for my under eyes. Stocked up on that because we know that I need to use that because my eyes are like raccoons. Okay, next, and this I'm pretty excited about. I've seen some reviews like on this and like some dupe videos on YouTube that this was a dupe of the Huda Beauty nude palette. And here we have the Physicians Formula Rose All Play palette. ASMR. So yeah. So and I can like I don't have that palette because it's a $65 palette, the um, Huda Beauty Nude Palette. But this is $17.99, and I can, I'm going to insert a picture from this woman's YouTube channel, um, and I'll link her below. She does, like, really cool, like, she gets, like, I don't know if she buys them or gets PR boxes, but she gets, like, really cool makeup sent to her. Um, and she like opens it up and swatches and she does really cool stuff like that So I'll link her below but to insert a picture from her video of swatches 
on her arm of the Huda Beauty palette and the Rosé um, Rose palette. These shades are identical to one another. So, yes, there is a few more in the $65 Huda palette, but if you don't care about a few glitters and a couple mattes, Literally, they are the exact same shade uh, color story, like, I mean identical. Yes, the formulas are going to be a little bit different. Obviously, you're, there's a big difference in price, but exactly. You're going to pay $17.99 or $65 and get the same colors. So I really thought that these colors were absolutely stunning. I don't have any colors like this right now in my collection. So I'm super excited to try it out, and honestly, the swatches do not look bad, um, but it all depends on how it comes on the eye. So I will keep you updated, and if you want to know, let me know in the comments below, and uh, maybe I can do like a video. Next is, I just had to get it, because it's like all over the world, and like every single video I see, every person I talk to who actually does makeup, like says this is the best eye shadow primer and it is the MAC paint pot and it is in the shade painterly so super happy let's open it up and see what it looks like um hello I can't open it help me <laughs> why no, like really, I can't open it. Like, why is it stuck? It's like literally stuck. I don't want to rip the box. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was crazy. So this is what she looked like. This is what she looks like. Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't. I cannot get into this. I can't get into it. Like. What in the world? I really can't. I can't even open it. This is insane. Oh my god. This isn't even a joke. Dude. Okay. We're gonna have to come back to that. But, yeah. So this is it. The Mac paint pot and it is to prime your eyeshadow to prime your eyelids for eyeshadow application so very excited about that I cannot believe I can't open it like what if I can't ever open it <laughs> like I'm gonna hopefully like my my fiance can open it because like I really just tried so hard I don't know what like is going on maybe my hands are slippery okay yeah let's check it out Oh good, is that you? Open this thing, dude. I literally cannot open this. Like, I'm serious. You can't get it either. <laughs> it's like locked. I'm never gonna be able to use, you didn't get it? I'm never gonna be able to use it. How the hell am I gonna ever use it? This is gonna be funny. Inserts, like, like I'm. This is nuts. Next, I got the Tarte Shape Tape, and it's in the deluxe um, sample size. And I got this because I know that it's like literally America's number one concealer. Like it says it on the box, and um, it's true. It is like everyone loves this concealer, and. That's why I had to try it out because, you know, I really, like, need to know what's going on with this. <laughs> um, but I do have issues with, you know, really dry under eyes, bags, fine lines, the whole nine. So I don't know if this, what type of formula this is. I've never used it. So um, I'm hoping, really, I'm really hoping that it works because I want to join the bandwagon. But if I can't, I can't. And at least I only spent 10 bucks on the sample size. So super excited to try this out. Then I got here a purple um, multi-stick Wet n Wild, um, like 
I don't know, I guess it could be like a lip liner or a eyeliner. I got it more for an eyeliner for when I do like a purple eye look. I I really want to do, I really want to get a eyeliner in like kind of like every color of the rainbow. <laughs> Not every color in the rainbow, like purple, blue, pink, green, you know, like, a, like those colors. So if I do like a crazy eye look, I would have just like took it to the next level. Okay, next my sister slash best friend I've known her my entire life she introduced me her and her mother introduced me to a certain mascara when I went and visited her a few weeks back a Tarte Man Eater Voluptuous Mascara and I tried it on in her bedroom and it was oh my god it was so good so, um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Mine actually looks different than hers. Hers was gold all over and then black, um, like, print, like leopard print. And mine's black with gold leopard print. So, it's pretty cool. I like that. I love the packaging. Oh, my God, look at that. Yes. Obviously, fake eyelashes though cool beans <laughs> and it is can you guys guess what it is take a guess if you get it right you have to subscribe just kidding. Okay. It is the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2. So happy. I'm so happy. I really am. And I was like buying. I was like there and I was like buying and I was like, like, you know, browsing and I'm like, should I get, like, her first, because I don't have her first palette, so I'm like, like, should I get her first palette or her second palette? Should I get them both? But then if I got them both, like, you know, I'm on a budget. I had a budget. So, you know, I was like, if I get both of those, um, then I can't get a few other things that I want. So, I ended up just going with this one because it's new, obviously, and um, I'm super excited to review it. I'm super excited to try it out. Um, so, this is what I was talking about in my... Next video, I will be doing a two look, one palette with this bad boy. Also, give it um, a review, just my thoughts on it, um, and you know, um, try out, incorporate like some of the other makeup that I got from Ulta into that look. Um, yeah, so super excited. Let's open this up. You guys already all know what it looks like, but now I'm a little late in the game, like everybody already <laughs> did there their videos on it, but I don't care because they're so exciting right now. I think that this is a beautiful palette from... Bye! Bye! I think that this is an absolutely beautiful palette. I think that there's so many looks that you can do. I think that you can do like really creative and outgoing looks and then you can also do your neutrals and um, like mix it together. I mean, there's so many like ideas here um, when I seen this palette. A color story on the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, um, the original palette, that looks really beautiful too, um, but obviously this is the newer one and this is the one that I chose to get right now. I do have a few more things here um, that I got, not today, I got them, I got a couple of them yesterday from Walmart and then a couple of them the day before from Walgreens. So I'm just going to show you that little haul and then we'll wrap it up. Kiss Couture um, lashes and that's what I have on my eyes now. Um, these are in the name Gala. Um, absolutely love these. These ones are called Little Black Dress and they're just like a little more natural looking, shorter. So um, you can see more of your eyeshadow and stuff like that. That's why I got them um, to just have like a shorter... Like you can still see it with these ones, but it, I don't know. I just want more like of a la natural lash um, for like a day where if, like I'm not wearing much makeup or any at all, and I just want to like have some lashes and like look a little bit more um, 
you know, bang. The Maybelline City Bronzer, which I'm wearing right now, and I absolutely love it. It's it's a cool tone bronzer, so you can use this to contour if need be. I would really highly recommend this. Um, I just think that it's it's great. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Armor. It's a their glow boosting drops, um, and you can put it on with no makeup just on your skin for a little bit of a glow um, or you can put it under your makeup mix it in with your makeup um, for like an all-over glow mix it in with your skincare it says so this is what it looks like and it is shimmery um, let me put a little bit on my hand you can see it um, but once you rub it in like I said it really just gives it like a nice low like see like you really can't see it like intensely anymore it's just like a nice glow you really gotta rub it into little goes a long way so then I got um I love the superstay matte ink and this is in the shade loyalist and I absolutely love it I feel like it looks a little pinky in the camera like it doesn't look that pink in real life but maybe it's just in my monitor that it looks like that. The L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Um, so I have two new concealers to test out. Um, this is one of them. Looks very light. I don't know. I might have to... I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it will work. It might work. It definitely might work. And we have a few more things here. Um, it's a pretty big haul. <laughs> um, yeah, I spent quite a bit of money. So, and I didn't need it. I mean, I needed it. No, I did. Like, I was missing, um, I was missing out on a few things. So, I did get, um, I picked up the Butter Bronzer, and it is in the shade Bronzer. And it looks like that. And it smells, if anybody has this, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not a crazy person. It smells so good. It smells like summer. Like, it reminds me of, like, you're sitting on the beach with your tan and lotion. Like, I don't know. Oh, this is the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, which, if you have been watching any of my videos, you know that um, I am a very dry skin girl. And I like to use Dewy Foundations to... Um, just keep my skin from like kicking up extra and I mean it even happens sometimes with dewy foundations like my skin is just so dry and I have been really um, skincare 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 has been a big part of my routine but I actually did get the wet and wild primer also that's a part of this this was next um, so I did get call me crazy but I got the matte primer um, instead of the like illuminating primer just because I feel like the illuminating and the dewy together might have looked like I was really oily and very like wet um, so I figured like the matte primer with the dewy foundation would have kind of like equaled each other out like neutralized each other a new lip pencil and it is in the shade 125 and um, it is a lip liner by Maybelline New York. I love Maybelline. If you guys have couldn't tell, I have a lot of Maybelline products. So just another um, lip liner. Act surprise, surprise. Um, then I did pick up also just a Real Techniques br uh, foundation brush because I was using um, a different foundation brush, which worked fine, but it was a lot bigger, and I just like. I just like the way this applies. I like the size of it. Um, I think it's just great for foundation. Then I also did pick up a e.l.f. Um, like crease brush. It's just a little bit smaller. I do have like a large and then I have a medium and I didn't have a small one like this to get right into the crease. I also am looking for a detailed crease brush, like a pencil crease brush um, or a pencil blending brush almost. Um, so I'm on the search for that. Um, so yeah, that was, um, and then I also did get, this um, was a few days ago when I purchased this stuff, the Rose Eyeshadow Primer Base. 
uh, Photo Focus Wet n Wild. I did pick up that before I knew that I was going to be ordering the paint pot um, that I can't open. Still can't open. I'll let you know when I open that. Hopefully in the next video I'll have that opened. <laughs> Then last but not least, the end of the haul, finally. Oh my god, I feel like I've been filming this forever. Um, so this isn't makeup, this is a hair product, but beauty is beauty. So I did pick up, it was buy one get one half off, so I did pick up two, and it's the Garnier Fruities Invisible Dry Shampoo, Refresh and Volumize. One is in the shade uh, Coco Culata, and the other one is Uzu Fizz. Um, so I think this is like a lime set and this is a coconut scent. I did use uh, a little bit of this one yesterday and I love it. So excited about this haul and I'm so excited to be able to um, try these out in more videos and show you guys um, different looks with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and kind of just give you my opinion on it um, while also trying out all this different makeup that I need to try out. I really hope you enjoyed watching this haul. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, yeah, so um, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button right underneath this video. Hit it, hit it, hit it, and subscribe. That red square, turn that, turn it gray. If you want to be notified of any of my other videos, hit the bell. It's a little bell notification right next to the word subscribe, click that and you will be notified of any video that I upload in the future. So it's a pretty cool, um, pretty cool button to push. So push it. And um, yeah, so thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night or whatever. And um, thank you for tuning in. Bye.